Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the way that my phone is set up and what is on there in terms of apps and things like that as a small creative business owner. Okay, so first of all, I just want to mention that I am using an iPhone 11 in this video to show you my phone setup. Um, but I do actually have the iPhone 13 Pro now, but I am using it to film this video currently. So um, what you're seeing is the iPhone 11 and I'm using iOS 15. And what I love about the most recent iOS updates is the fact that you can have these uh, big widgets uh, on your home screen uh, rather than just the little square apps. You can kind of make your screen look more customized and tailored to you. So that's just a little bit of a note about that. You'll also notice as I'm going through that I don't have any kind of red notification um, dots or pop-ups coming up because I am really strict about what apps I do actually get notifications for. I literally just leave it to uh, Messenger and WhatsApp and um, iMessage as well. So, um, and obviously phone calls. So I'm really super strict about the kind of disruption that I'm getting throughout the day. Um, but let's get straight into the apps and things that I have on my phone as a creative business owner. So first of all, obviously you can see I've got a widget up here for my calendar. This is the most important thing that I want to be able to see straight away when I open my phone, which is why it is the first thing on here. And I do live in England and particularly in the south of England in Cornwall. We have very variable weather and so it matters a lot to me um, to be able to see the weather for the upcoming day um, within the next few hours as you can see here in this widget. It's really useful to be able to just see this at a glance so I can basically plan my day of when I'm going to go out, when I'm going to walk the dogs and things like that. So that's why I have that on there. Um, the weather is extremely variable, so that is important to me. Um, along with my camera, obviously, again, one of the things that I reach for most on my phone is my camera because I want to be able to quickly take um, photos, videos, things like that and access my photos as well. I also set timers a lot and have alarm clocks, so that's why I have the clock there. And all my messenger stuff and Safari and messenger is on this first screen as well. What you'll notice is that I do not have my Instagram accounts or any social media on this first screen because I don't want it to distract me or I don't want to be tempted to open those social media apps when I'm just popping onto my phone to check the weather or to take a quick photo. I don't want to suddenly be tempted to go on those apps so I actually hide them away on much uh, further away screens so that I'm yeah not tempted as I say. So onto the next screen, this is kind of the more useful stuff that I want quick access to. My reminders is really important. I have my to-do lists all on there, my food shopping list, that kind of thing. Notes for quickly capturing ideas on the go and of course Google Maps to get me places. I've created some folders to um, hide my kind of useful random bits like booking my gym classes, um, the Magic Seaweed app that tells you the tide times, which again is really important if you live in Cornwall to be aware of what the sea is doing, what the tides are doing when you go to the beach, things like that. So just little useful things in here, nothing particularly business related. And then obviously as I'm on the go, I do want to be able to quickly access music to listen to, podcasts, audiobooks, things like that. Calculator is super important <laughs> and settings. Um, and I do have uh, Alexa set up around my home as well. So I have the app easily accessed there. This Authenticator app is something that helps me log into a lot of my online accounts. So again, that's really handy to have on one of the first screens here. And please give this video a thumbs up if you are also a lover of the daily Wordle challenge. I do like to have this on one of the first screens, even though I guess you could say it's kind of a game um, and potentially a distraction. I really love this daily challenge because it's just short and simple and it just gives my brain a bit of exercise each day. So I like to have that easily accessible. As I say, give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment below if you also love the Wordle. 
So the next screen is more of kind of like a divider. So I use this to display a Pinterest widget, which is like a fading kind of mood board. So every now and then this image will change and it pulls through from one of my inspirational Pinterest boards. Um, and this just creates a nice little divider in my phone as I'm scrolling through. I kind of have it as like a vision board. Um, I explain how to set this up exactly in step by steps in a reel uh, that I've just posted on my Instagram. Instagram, so I will link to that below so that you can see how to add that to your phone yourself. I also have this app called Snip Notes, which allows you to create a widget like this, which shows you a little preview of some notes that you've created. Um, here, I just like to have um, my goals basically for my business right in front of my face so that I see them every day and so that I just have a nice reminder of what I want to achieve in the coming year. If we scroll onto the next page, I've then got a few different folders here. Again, making things easily accessible, but avoiding distractions as much as possible. So I have a folder for business. And in here, I've created app shortcuts to my both of my websites, my Cornish Life Lifestyle blog and my Barazana website as well. I also have Dropbox because that's really important for sending files and grabbing things easily from my phone uh, from clients. The Facebook business suite that allows me to reply to kind of messages on Facebook, things like that. Trello is incredibly important to my business. This is my project management system. I've got loads of videos all about how I use Trello, um, but that is super important for having on my phone so that I can quickly access all of my boards and my project management stuff. LastPass, this is my password manager, super important so that I can quickly log into accounts and apps when I'm on the go. Kindle Highlights, um, this is actually a shortcut I created um, on my phone so that I could quickly access um, any highlights that I've made. Obviously it wants me to log in now, but on my Kindle as I'm reading different business books so that I can quickly access quotes and things that I've referenced. My iPhone Files, obviously that's important. If you're wondering what Otter is, this is a voice to text um, type app. So if I want to create notes on the go just by speaking, this will basically write down what I'm saying out loud, which is really cool. Um, Tiny Scanner, this is an app that allows me to basically create a scanner on my phone. So if I need to scan any documents, I just take a photo of it. This turns it into a scanned PDF and then I can send that, um, which is so much easier than having a printer or a scanner. Um, and then we've just got Google Sheets, Google Docs, Keynote, um, my emails, uh, which are obviously important there. Um, but you'll notice that I don't have them anywhere on kind of the first pages of my phone, which you might expect because you might think, OK, I want to have quick and easy access to my emails on my phone. I actually try to avoid checking my emails on my phone as much as possible. Um, I rarely, rarely ever open the Gmail app whilst I'm on my phone unless I actually need something in there when I'm out and about. Um, and I try to just check my emails when I'm at my desk. And that just means that I'm not getting distracted throughout the day or getting into work mode when I shouldn't be. I've then got a folder for all my bank accounts and bills and QuickBooks as well so that I can easily upload receipts and track my mileage, things like that. It's really, really handy. Starling is my business account in case you were wondering. And then we've got my health apps. So Seconds Pro is kind of, I think they call it a Tabata timer or something like that. So it creates these little um, timed uh, timers for you basically when you're exercising. Insight Timer is actually a free version really of the Calm app. It's got loads of guided meditations on it. I have spent some time trying to get into meditation but it wasn't necessarily for me but that's on there and from that little cloud icon that just means that it's currently offloaded on my phone. It creates more space on my phone and then when I need to actually use the app I can just tap on it and it will re-download onto my phone. We've got the, then the Apple kind of fitness and health apps here. Clue is for tracking my period. And then we've got, obviously in the UK, we were having things like COVID passes, um, vaccine passes, that kind of thing. So I've got the apps for that on here as well. And Strava is a running app. Not that I run, but just in case I ever want to, that is on there to track that as well. Then I have a whole folder for Instagram and photography, and this I need to have relatively easy access to um, because that is a massive part of my work. 
So I have the Later app, which helps me to schedule my Instagram posts. Um, Tone is the app that I use for editing my photos, so adding filters to it and things like that. Then we've obviously got Instagram. Flick Hashtags is awesome. It's an app that basically tracks how well your hashtags that you're using are performing um, and if they're get, getting you more views and stuff like that. So I would definitely recommend that. I will leave a link to all of these in the video description. Um, InShot is what I use for video editing. If I need something more complicated than what the Instagram Reels app lets me, does for, lets me do, for example. Um, and then Canva is to design graphics like real covers, things like that. Unfold lets you create uh, nice collages that look really nice to share on stories. Splice is another video editing app. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot, um, but that apparently is really, really good. This is to do with um, sharing images from my camera. And then we've got things like Lightroom uh, to edit photos again. Mock, this is a shortcut I've created to um, let you basically create mock-ups from screenshots on your phone. And then Mixkit is a really cool um, website that basically gives you free stock videos. Uh, rather than free stock photography, this is free stock film, which is quite cool. Then I have a travel folder where I keep things like TripAdvisor if I need to quickly look up um, like a restaurant or something like that. Um, airline apps, stuff like that got Ryanair on here as well. The Dark Sky app is actually really cool. I'm not sure why it's in my travel folder, but it will show you um, where the best sunsets are and things like that. So that's quite cool to have. Um, Airbnb and things like Uber and taxi companies, I've got all in this folder. Then the shopping folder is just quick and easy access to things like parking apps, uh, which let me pay for parking, my um, supermarket club cards, store cards, things like that. And obviously things like Uber Eats, McDonald's, uh, Domino's. Uh, in the UK, we have a pub called Weatherspoons, which you need an app to order sometimes. So that's on there as well. Um, and then on the very last page, this is where all the rest of my social media lives. So as I said, I really tuck it away and hide it. This is just a folder of unused apps or things that are connected to widgets, basically. But my entertainment folder this is finally where you'll find things like TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, Snapchat, Facebook, that kind of thing, and anything to do with gaming. Because um, again, I just don't want to be distracted by it throughout the day. So that's why it's hidden at the back, um, past all of these pages here. But yeah, that is what's on my phone as a small creative business owner. And I hope you found this interesting. I'll be back again next week with another video.